Now for file management exercise number five, backup files to a USB drive. First, what is a USB drive? Well, it's called by various names, often called a thumb drive because it's about the same size as your thumb. Definitely called a USB drive because it plugs into the USB port, universal serial bus port, of your computer also known as travel drives, jump drives, flash drives, sometimes called memory sticks, although that actually refers to a different kind of memory device. So what's it used for? It's used for temporarily storing data. We don't recommend it for permanent storage, like backups that you want to just put in the cupboard and keep for years as security. We can speak from experience these don't make it through the wash very well. They're so easy to lose, they're so small, and they are relatively fragile. If they get stepped on, it's, it's dead, it's gone. So for permanent storage backup, we like CDs and DVDs. But these guys are so easy. If you be very careful with them, we'll let you back up with them. And in any case, they're good for temporarily, for quick. Make a copy, take to somewhere else, Put something on here to take to the printers because you don't have a printer to use, etc. They're great. So just plug it in. Your computer should make a little kerplunk noise to let you know that it has sensed that you've plugged a new drive into it. If it doesn't have the just two little kerplunk noise, if it has three kerplunks, <laughs> then it might mean that something is wrong. That You'll get used to the, what that sound is. If your USB drive has files on it already, this box will have popped up, this autoplay with lots of choices as to what you want to do. We just want to open folder to view files. This thumb drive that I just put in has a whole bunch of files in it. I don't want to use that one. I have an empty one. Now I want you to s see what happens when I remove this. First of all, to be completely proper about it, you should not just pull the disk out. You should use this little guy down here to safely remove hardware, meaning if there's anything open on that USB drive, when you pull it out, you could damage the file. So to be sure that you're not damaging a file, you can click on that. I have several things attached to my computer. I have to know that this one is the USB mass storage device drive F. I click on that. It says it can't stop it because it's in use. That's because this window is open. So I'm going to close that window. Now click on the safely remove. Safely remove. And it can now be safely removed. OK. I pull out that USB drive. I put in a blank one. And this time, it just popped up to a Windows Explorer. Notice that your disk shows up here as USB Memory F. Step one is to make a new folder on this USB drive called Boot Camp Backup. Several ways to do that. I like right-clicking and choose New and Folder and call it Boot Camp Backup. Now we want to navigate to the files to be backed up. Those were on our computer in the user Chris and documents and boot camp. I'm going to select them all by dragging across them and right click and copy. Now I'm going to go back, and Vista has this handy little back button, but I'm, I'm not going to use that. I need to go to Computer and the USB Drive F, and in the Boot Camp Backup, now right click and paste. And it is copying five items from your computer in the Documents Boot Camp folder to the USB Drive in the Boot Camp Backup folder. Now I